Imagine for a minute one calendar year. If we proportionally condense the history of Earth to this length of time, baby Earth is born January 1st. Water shows up on January 11th, and life shows up on April 3rd. Photosynthesis develops on June 28th. On November 27th, fish develop jaws, and a few days later, on November 30th, plants start growing on land. Amphibians show up on December 1st, followed by completely land-based animals on December 3rd. Dinosaurs appear on December 12th and go extinct on the 26th. On December 31st, at 4.16 p.m., this species arrives. And this, my friends, according to the fossil record, is our ancestor. This is World History Basics by History Hookup. And for the rest of the series, we'll be spending time explaining everything. Okay, definitely not everything. This is a basic history series. I mean, we'll be talking about major moments in human history between when this shows up and our modern life today. Oh, and if our modern life today was on that calendar, it would be the last few seconds of 11.59 p.m. Okay, okay, okay. I know you probably look more like this than this. That's because you're a modern day human, not an early hominid. You may have learned in science that living things are put into groups to organize them. Hominid is a word for the family group that includes humans. Our grouping is Animalia, Chordata, Mammalia, Primate, Hominidae, Homo sapiens. That's us, by the way. We're Homo sapiens, AKA modern humans. How do we get from being hominids to Homo sapiens? About 5 million years ago, 20 to 30 different hominid species emerged in Eastern and Southern Africa. All of these shared the ability to walk on two legs, or bipedalism. We know this because of the fossil record and what they left behind. Mary Leakey, an archaeologist working in what's now Tanzania in the 1970s, found footprints of three hominids walking next to each other. When they lived, they were walking through volcanic ash, which preserved their footprints. This species of hominid is called Australopithecus afarensis. Their footprints give us many clues about their lives. Spacing between prints shows a short stride, so we know that their legs were not very long. Based on the indentations, we also know that while walking, they landed heel first, just like modern humans do. Other archeologists and anthropologists have found more skeleton remains and artifacts which help us to understand these hominids. As time passed, the hominids evolved to have larger brains and different body proportions. Some common artifacts from the time period around 2.3 million years ago include tools and bone remains. One new species called Homo habilis emerged around 2.3 million years ago and used stone tools. Homo erectus lived 1.6 million years ago. They had body proportions closer to modern humans, like long legs and shorter arms, stood more upright, and probably were the first species to use fire. They were also the first, but not the last, to migrate out of Africa. As time passed and these hominids adapted to their new environments, new species evolved from the old. About 400,000 years ago, one hominid species made their homes from Europe through southwestern and central Asia. They're called Homo neanderthalensis, but you probably know them better as Neanderthals. From their artifacts and bones, we learn that Neanderthals used many different, more sophisticated tools than their ancestors. Controlled fire, made shelters, wore clothing, hunted large game, ate plants, and made symbolic objects. There's even evidence that they purposely buried their dead and left grave offerings. No earlier hominid species performed these symbolic actions, which some consider to be the beginning of religious beliefs. But enough about other species, let's talk about us. The species modern humans are descended from, Homo sapiens, emerged in Africa about 250,000 years ago. They began migrating out of Africa about 100,000 years ago and expanded into Eurasia, Australia, the Americas, and Pacific Islands, which is known as the out of Africa theory. We must have been too cool for the other groups to handle. The other species of hominids eventually all died out. Or maybe we had something to do with their disappearance. We're not entirely sure why Homo sapiens are the only human species left. Our Homo sapien ancestors were much shorter than humans today and evolved to live in warm tropical regions. But they expanded into the globe's different climates by adapting to their environments. They used stone technology to increase their available food supply through hunting and gathering, fire to help hunt, cook, and keep warm, and used animal skin clothing to live in non-tropical locations. This is how our ancestors lived for 95% of our history as modern humans. We even gave this hunting and gathering time period a name, the Paleolithic. Just like you don't look like the early hominid, you probably don't hunt or gather your food the same way early humans did. Next time, we'll talk more about that shift.